Listen to me. I want you to get off the side streets and the back alleys of unbelief and get on the main street of the Bible because you must expect a miracle if you want it to happen to you. And it can happen to you right now if you will expect it and believe for it. God wants you to have a better life. I believe as we choose, we can have a better life. The better life that God wants you to have is paid with miracles. This is The Place for Miracles. Hi, everybody, and welcome to The Place for Miracles. Lindsay and I join you in our faith, believing God for miracles. Lindsay, I wrote down what my dad just said in that video clip from many years ago. He said, I want you to get off the side streets and back, back alleys, alleys of unbelief and get on the main street of the Bible because you must expect a miracle if you want it to happen to you. And he said, it can happen to you if you will believe right now and expect it in Jesus' mighty name. Lindsay, I've never heard anything more powerful. I'll tell you what, he was convinced that miracles were a way of life, that God gave us his son Jesus so that we could live in the Bible, walk in the Bible, walk out the Bible, do what the Bible says, and what was Jesus full of? Miracles, signs, and wonders. And you know, so many people may want to have their comments about who Jesus is, who Jesus was, argue theology. Okay, that's fine. But for me, I want to expect a miracle. Because when I um, say I, I have a need, say I might have a physical need, say I might have a financial need, I, I, right then is not the time for me to want to practice all kinds of uh, uh, conflicting theologies with everybody. Right then is the time for me to expect a miracle. And I want to pray that right now, if you need a miracle, if you need that divine intervention from God Almighty, that instead of being on the back streets of unbelief, that we begin to get on the main street of miracles, to expect a miracle. I pray right now for you to expect a miracle. Yes. I pray for divine intervention from God from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. It may be physical. It also may be financial. It may be emotional. The Bible talks about your soul, your mind, will, and emotions. I pray for you to be healed in every aspect of your life, anything that concerns you. I pray for God to minister healing to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Lindsay, that's the atmosphere that I grew up in. Yep. I can remember my mother going to the telephone saying, is this my miracle? Oh, I watched her do going it to the many door. times. Is this my miracle? Mm -hmm. Opening a letter. Is this my miracle? We lived in an, in an attitude of expectancy, it's expecting true. a miracle. I remember when, when Lindsay was pregnant carrying our children we would say to her, she's expecting. That's right. That didn't matter if it was raining or sleeting or snowing, if it was summertime Storm, or wintertime or springtime or fall matter. time, you were expecting. What were you expecting? You're expecting a child. Yeah. You're expecting a baby. A desired result. Yes, exactly. You're expecting a miracle. And that's what my father was talking about. Let me take you back into that message because there's much more for you to hear. Just listen to this. Now then, I want you to turn in your Bibles, please, to the book of Acts. I'm going to read tonight from the book of Acts, a very, very powerful part of the Word of God. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. You must expect a miracle if you want it to happen. On the main street of the Bible, miracles were always happening. That's because people were expecting them to happen. They were looking for them to happen. They were believing God for them to happen. On the main street of the Bible, people expected God to take a hand in their lives, to speak, to move, to stretch out his mighty hand and, and display his supernatural power. They expected him to perform miracles, to set them free. They opened their minds to his miracle working power and miracles were the practice. It was a fascinating time to be alive. And friends, once again, we are living on the main street of the Bible. Once again, faith and expectancy are in the air. Everywhere people are turning their attention back to God, 
And there is a tremendous resurgence of faith in the human heart around this globe of ours. And because of this expectancy, miracles are beginning to happen again. Miracles of healing, miracles of deliverance, miracles for soul, mind, and body, miracles for circumstances. It's a fascinating time to be alive. Now I want you friends here in the tent, when you open your Bibles, realize this. We can live on the Bible's main street today just as they lived on it 2,000 years ago. You know, there are three things that happen when you expect. One, you recognize it when it comes by. Second, you reach forth and take it. And third, you just receive it into your heart. Listen to me. I want you to get off the side streets and the back alleys of unbelief and get on the main street of the Bible because you must expect a miracle if you want it to happen to you. And it can happen to you right now if you will expect it and believe for it. And Lindsay, I well remember when that phrase, expect the miracle, came into being. I was just a boy. My dad had a crusade in Miami, Miami Florida. Florida. Yeah. He took us as a family down there, and Lindsay, something bad happened. There was a group of atheists who came against him to try to close the tent down, and they actually made him stand before a Miami district judge swearing under oath on an affidavit that he did not have some type of device up his sleeve. But you have to explain the device the up his sleeve <laughs> when he prayed for the sick. The power of God was so strong on oral that many people, myself included, felt the power of God in a tangible way. Yes. It actually felt like uh, uh, like a, an electricity sometimes. Like it, a shock. It, it felt like a shock. Sometimes it felt just like a something. It was tangible. It was touchable. You could, when he prayed for you, you there could, was something you could you feel. You could feel it. So they made him go before a district judge and the judge agreed, wow, go figure that. And, <laughs> and said he had to sign under oath, swear as an affidavit, that he was not shocking people. Okay, I, 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 I have no words for that. Well, this atheist group was not happy with that. They still wanted more. Mm -hmm. And they came, they said they were coming to perform what they called in those days a citizen's arrest. Yes. And they were going to arrest my father and put him in jail for what Correct. they called practicing medicine without a license. Yeah. Well, my dad's custom was at three o'clock in the afternoon, he would close himself off in a, for a time of, of a, a short prayer. nap in prayer. Mm -hmm. Normally, when we children were along, he would rent two hotel rooms with an adjoining door. Well, when three o'clock came, we had to go into the other room, my sister and I, and my mother, and uh, my dad would close himself off for a time of a nap and prayer. And we went into that little room, and uh, my dad lay down for a nap, but in a few minutes into the nap, he was awakened by a hand on his shoulder. He thought it was my mother, but it wasn't. It was the Lord. And the Lord spoke to him in that room and said, Oral Roberts, expect a miracle. That's where that phrase came into being, Lindsay. And that night he changed his message and preached on expecting miracles. And what you saw a moment ago is what, it was the outgrowth of that, Lindsay, how yep. that expectation for miracles began to come into our lives, into our family, and into the hearts of people all over the world. And it was in his spirit, man, so strong. Yes. It was so much a part of his life. Expecting a miracle is like me blinking. It just happens automatic. If, if I'm sitting here, my eyes are going to blink at some point. And, and it's just autopilot. It's automatic. It's like my heart is going to beat, I pray, until Jesus returns or whenever, when he calls me home. But my heart beating is natural. It happens autopilot. It's how it's supposed to happen. Believing for miracles happened to your father autopilot. He believed it as much as it was as simple as blinking. It was as simple as your heart beating. He believed that miracle signs and wonders were so much in the Bible that if they were in the Bible days, they ought to be in that day, in this day, and until the Lord returns. And the difference I believe right now is what we've been able to um, tap into, so to speak. We've been able to tap into what they used to call the information superhighway. Now they're calling it artificial intelligence. Not, not that, but I'm saying as we progress, all these different things. Now, instead of seeing certain things, you see drones. Instead of seeing certain people or seeing customer type uh, jobs and service, you're seeing artificial intelligence. And we have a lot, a lot, a lot of other choices. Your dad's choice was to expect a miracle. 
Your dad's choice was to believe God is a good God. Your dad's choice was to believe that when you pray for the sick, the sick are supposed to be healed. Yes. And he was as much Miracles. convicted in that and committed to that as breathing. And that's why, Lindsay, I feel the same compulsion to say what he said. I want you today to get off the back, back alleys and side streets of, of unbelief, unbelief, of not wow. believing God. I want you to expect a miracle and you can have a miracle if you will expect it, if you'll believe it, and if you'll receive it by your faith in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ right now. What miracle do you need? Is it in your spirit? Is it in your body? Is it in your family? Is it in your finances or in some other area of your life? What is it? Because God is concerned about you. He cares about you. He sent his son to show us what he's like. He sent Jesus to bring healing to you in every area of your life. So right now, even in the midst of this program, in the authority of Jesus' name, I pray over you. I rebuke this satanic attack of the devil. You come out in Jesus' name. Satan, you take your hands off of God's property. I pray over you right now. I pray that all that unbelief, all that, all that mess will get out. And for you to really, truly expect and believe God for miracles in your life. It's not not too late. No, it's not too late. God's concerned about you. He cares. He knows who you are. He knows where you live. He knows what you're going through right now. And I believe he has miracles. So let's just believe right now. Let's expect a miracle. Let's release our faith. Let's release our faith. Let's release our faith and expect God for healing in the name of Jesus. And, Hallelujah. And Glory you know what? Be to go God. into agreement with that. Go into agreement with the Bible. Go into agreement with the words yes. from the Bible. And if you don't know the Bible, that's okay. Open up a, a, a a, a search engine and just put healing in the Bible and the scriptures that come up, begin to quote them. You know, I'm the Lord that healeth thee. If you want to start with one, start with that one. Right there, start with one. I'm believing that God is my 15, Lord 26. that healeth <laughs> and heals me. Exodus 15, 26. You know, and the, and the Bible very clearly says, Second Chronicles, if my people call by my name, humble themselves and right. pray, turn from their wicked ways. You know, it's time for us to turn from listening to anything and everything that seems to be walking down a path of wickedness. Now, sometimes when I hear things, it doesn't sound like wicked. It sounds very nice to be honest with you, but you never know how Satan will take something, twist it, turn it, and before you can even blink, before you know it, before you're thinking, stuff may be coming on your television, stuff may be coming on your headset, stuff may be coming on your tablet or your phone or some kind of dev device. The other day I was listening to something and, and the guy all of a sudden, I mean, he sounded so intelligent. I really list, I really liked what he was saying. He really sounded like, hmm, that guy's very, um, he's very well spoken and he has a lot of intellectual things to say. I like listening to him and all of a sudden it took this turn and he started attacking people that believed God and he said very bad words about the Bible. I said, oh, click. And then after I clicked it, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I repent that that went into my ears. Take it out of my hearing. Take it out of my spirit. Take it out of my soul. Take it out of my atmosphere. And Lord, I repent and, and show me, Lord, anything you want me to listen to and anything you don't want me to listen to so I don't ever grieve my spirit or grieve the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I think we're watching TV programs that seem so funny or so benign, but are they grieving the Holy Spirit? Sometimes I listen to, to things on my phone and all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, I, I'm feeling something and I don't believe it's just grieving my spirit. I believe it's grieving the Holy Spirit and I have to say, Lord, I'm not going to listen to that again. I repent and I love to listen to the Bible on tape. I love to listen to Bible programs. I love to pray for our nation and I do find myself getting preoccupied in other things. It's time for us to be not preoccupied, Lindsay. but the occupied, not preoccupied, but the occupied, occupied with <laughs> the word of the living God. Sorry, that's, that came into my spirit. I had to say That's it. getting off the back streets and the back alleys. Yes. Yes. That's getting off is. that unbelief and getting yes. into the, the gospel of Jesus. I wasn't trying that's to cut you off. That's but, expecting miracles. I wasn't trying to cut you <laughs> off either. <laughs> cut you off. But there's but, a truth, preoccupied and the occupied, capital T, capital H, capital E. We are sometimes so preoccupied, we don't get the occupied on the word of the living God. And it's time, you know, to kind of er, 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 readjust and get back to the main street of glad, the Bible. Aren't you glad you got a delete button? <laughs> More than you will ever know. Those little X's that pop up to delete certain things and delete certain apps, 
bam, you're out of here and you're not coming back in Jesus' name. That's getting off the back alleys and the side streets and getting on the main street of the Bible. And that's expecting miracles. Praise God for that. Much more to come in the program. But right now, Jordan is coming to sing. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship Your holy name. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great. Believers gather together in the name of Jesus. Jesus promised to be present, and His Word promises healing and wholeness to you. Canadian friends and partners, Richard is coming to Toronto. Join Richard at the Old Mill in Toronto on Saturday morning, September 23rd. For more information and free registration, go to richardroberts.org slash Canada 2023. Bring your friends and loved ones and come expecting miracles. I am so excited about coming back up to Canada. It's been a long time, Lindsay, since I've been in yep. Canada in the Toronto area. September the 23rd, just a couple of months away. September the 23rd at 10 a.m. at the Old Mill Toronto Hotel in their big ballroom. And you can register by going to richardroberts.org slash Canada 2023. That's richardroberts.org slash Canada 2023. I'm excited about Canada. Lindsay, I'm going to be talking about expecting miracles and believing God for his miracle power. I'm going to be talking about getting off the back, back streets, streets and the <laughs> side streets of unbelief and getting on the main street of the Bible. And you know what? While you were talking about that, richardroberts.org slash 
Canada 2023. I want you to go to richardroberts.org. And when you go to richardroberts.org, remember I was talking a minute ago about healing prayers? We're, we're putting up healing scriptures for you right there. All you have to do, go to richardroberts.org and those healing scriptures will be right there where you can take those. If you wanna just quote them, read them, download them, go ahead and understand that healing scriptures are wonderful to quote and believe and expect a miracle with. Also, thank you for handing me that. This is getting to me more and more and more and more important every day. RichardRoberts.org, there you go. Now, if you look at this, go to the bookstore, RichardRoberts.org slash bookstore. All those slashes and directions sometimes are easy, sometimes they're complicated. If you wanna do it easy, go to RichardRoberts.org. Now, this is 30 days of praying for our nation. <laughs> you can download this. It's free, it's our gift to you. But what we really want you to do is pray. Now, Richard's going to Canada. If that's your nation, pray for Canada. We didn't make it specific to which nation. They're just healing prayers. Uh, this one, day one is about gratitude. Day two is about leaders. Day three is about unity. And then after we give you the prayer, prayer's right there. And then after that, scriptures are right there, if you can see it. Okay, look. There it's, about, is, it's about eight pages of it's download. It's about eight pages of download. There's the pray, the day, the subject matter is gratitude, being grateful to God for yep. this nation. Then over here are scriptures. I think day one is five scriptures. Day two is leaders, about praying for the leadership. And scriptures, I think there's uh, one, two, three, four of them over, <coughs> over to pray over your nation. And these are downloadable. Like he said, they're about eight pages worth. We have done our homework and we've done it for you. How about that? 30 days. Yeah, it's 30 days of praying for the nation. Now you may start uh, in the middle of the month. It's start wherever you want to start and go for 30 days. We would love to have you join us. When you go to the richardroberts.org, look for the praying for the nation for 30 days. Look for the healing scriptures. Look for where he's going and traveling. Most of all, most of all, look for something that will spark you into expecting a miracle. And as Oral said, get off the back streets and back alleys of unbelief and on the main street of expecting Say a again. miracle. Say that one more time. I hope I said it exactly right. I'm gonna make myself some kind of poster Say about that. Say that one that. more time. Get off the back streets yes. and back alleys yep. of unbelief yep. and on the main street Why? of expecting miracles. <laughs> That's a, You're gonna see more of that, just trust me. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be. Well, it supercharges your faith, Lindsay, to believe God for miracles. That what God did in Bible days, he's still doing these days. You know, in, in English, and I'm not the greatest person in English, but in English, when it says get off the back streets, it's an understood you. You get off the back streets of unbelief. You get off the back alleys of unbelief and you start expecting miracle. You know, so many times it's so easy for me to look to, you know, now we've got Jones, we've got um, we've got internet, we've got uh, uh, artificial intelligence. Well, I want to use my intelligence to get off the back street, get off the back alley of my unbelief in any area that it seems to be cropping up, and get myself positioned by reading the Word of God, by using my faith, which comes by hearing the Word of God, to expect a miracle. And Lindsay. All the time, I'm looking for ways to help encourage people and to help them to release their faith for a miracle. And God gave me an idea through a pastor friend of mine in Tennessee. I was preaching there and he gave me this prescription bottle. And I thought, well, why is he giving me a prescription bottle? That was weird. <laughs> I looked at it and I thought, well, you know, you have prescription and you think there's medicine inside. And it said on the outside, God's word for your health. And then it said directions use as often as needed. Yay. even used daily. And I, I, I looked at it and I, I saw writing on the inside of the bottle and I opened it up and there were healing scriptures Yay. inside the little prescription bottle. And I thought to myself, this would be a wonderful point of contact to give to my friends and partners. So when I got home- Not to change from your medicine. No, 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 not this is not to take to the place of medicine. No, 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 like not that. at all. But to be a companion, Lindsay, to help people to release their faith. And so I had these little bottles made and it says, God's word for your health, directions used daily or as often as needed. <laughs> and, and then it has a little roll up uh, paper of scriptures. The first one is uh, from Psalms by his, or excuse me, Isaiah, by his stripes we are healed. healed. The word of Isaiah. And then uh, also from a third John, I pray that you may prosper and be in health. That's healing 
even as your soul prospers. And then a scripture from Matthew that Jesus went about healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease wherever he went. And then also a scripture in Ephesians, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. These scriptures are inside this little what I'm calling a spiritual prescription bottle. Now, as I said, and as she said, it's not to take the place of medicine, so don't don't misunderstand me. But I, I keep it next to my vitamins and minerals and things like that, Lindsay, right in yes, my bathroom. Yes, he does. And, and it's a constant reminder and helps me to release my faith. Now, I'd like to give this to you, okay? But to get it, you're gonna have to let me know you want it. So call the prayer group at 918-495-7777 or go online, Richard Roberts, dot org slash bookstore. You know, I thank <laughs> God, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I thank God for all of our friends and partners who have done so much to not only keep this ministry alive, to allow us to go to the nations of the earth. And if you'd like to be a partner, thank you, thank you. I mean this sincerely. Thank you for partnering with us. But I also want to add a little extra in there. When you go to richardroberts.org, I want you to look at something and I want you to kind of search it out very carefully. <clears throat> what he just had about this little bottle it's free it's a gift and it's it's this is a gift and when you look to download your 30 days of praying for the nation this is eight I think I'm pretty sure it's eight downloadable pages like PDFs there are several things on there there's there's scriptures about your family scriptures about healing the whole point is we want to make it extremely available to you for you to get something to put constantly in front of you as a reminder as though I'm not saying in front of you while you're driving I'm saying in your spirit put it in your thinking uh, you know I'll, I'll tell you how our household works I put everything up on Richard's mirror. He has a little <laughs> bit of tendency to sometimes need reminders. And so I I have two-sided tape. This is right up on mirrors. When you see little yellow sticky tabs, I even get those like in my stocking for Christmas. It's so exciting. And what do I do with them? Put them on my mirror. I put them all over his mirror, all over the place as a constant reminder. But I want you to go to richardroberts.org and I want you to look up the PDFs, the downloads, the things that you can get that are available for free. My Make Your Day Count magazine is there. It's free. I want you to get the Word of God embedded into your spirit, into your soul. Then when things of this world, which are inevitable things of this world happen, you've got the Bible already pre-planted, so to speak, in your heart. And that's where I believe it belongs. And you just reminded me of what you said. What? Don't forget about the new Healing Network. Oh, yeah. Just a couple of months ago, we launched the Healing Network. And all you have to do to get it is go once again to our website, richardroberts.org slash the healing network. You can download the app, seven day a week, 24 hour day mm -hmm. healing network. It's online. We're doing live programs on it too. Live teaching, live, live, teaching, prayer, li live programs, prayer programs, a bookmark program. All the information is online. This ministry, as she said, is designed to help you to get well in every area of your life because it's his greatest wish that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. That's what this ministry is about. Canada, I'm coming up to Toronto September 23 at the Old Mill in Toronto. Make your reservation. Go to richardroberts.org Canada slash Canada 2023. See you next time from the Place for Miracles.